I don't know how I can do it so that uh, I appeal to Senator Sefuna well enough. You see, you are in a boiler room of Azimio, and I'm in a boiler room of Kenya Kwanza. We've been given an opportunity to step out of the boiler room so that we go into a safe room where we can reason together. So once we have this privilege, we should do all in our power not to, be, to carry the boiler room behavior into this room. History is there to help us, namely my brother Sifuna. The First and Second World War, they did not end because the, of the new bombs that were then manufactured or the improvement in attack style. It ended because people talked. So you and I have been asked to step out of the boiler rooms so as to talk. Let us continue talking and giving the impression that we are up to it enough for the people in the ODM as me or I as a boiler room to say, then there's no need for us to go to Kamkunji for these public barazas. But the moment we support those public barazas and we are sitting on this committee, okay. my brother, we are actually fueling the problem that we were intended to solve. Finally, your first day, it was on 20th, I think, the first Monday was on 20th of March. It happened in Kenya, in Nigeria, in South Africa, in and, some, and in France. France is every day. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, it's in uh, Israel. So, so uh, yes. So <laughs> let me just give you two African examples. The South, South African experience and the Kenyan experience. You saw in South Africa, the leaders were there leading the demonstrators peacefully. Behind the police. And the police was there. In front. In front. Correct. Ensuring that that peaceful procession was taking place. Here in Kenya, I saw with my own eyes, and I'm glad you were there, the leadership of Asmio was nowhere as our youth came to the streets and started causing destructions. The situation is so difficult, my brother, I beg you, because you are a father and you are a leader. The, the situation is so complex, the issues raised, that why was the police doing ABCD? The other side of the same question is, should have the police just sat there as supermarkets were destroyed in Kisumu? The question, uh, yes, the supermarket went. The poor businessman had nothing to do with political grandstanding in the country. So the police might have been right. But again, we say they were not so right because then they were using excessive force. So you and I, I beg you, let us deliver something new instead of the usual rhetoric okay. that we can do in all our public functions. That's not okay. difficult. Can